say much for we can't really predict what's going to happen in, in the weeks coming and the best we can do is pray and hope on our side and do our best to reduce the spread and just play our parts right to to do what we can in our own little way because that's basically what we can do we can only you know try to you know avoid ourselves from contacting this um, virus and our families oh, yes. and our loved ones mm. yes and um you, you were saying something about the, the people that are living from their day-to-day -day income and um it reminded me of something i volunteer at a charity organization called available shoulders um i'm using this time to reach out to everyone watching this available shoulders reach out to the masses, not every day as of now because it has cut down, but we are trying to reach out every day and um, distribute food and water and whatever they have on the ground to the people. And my, but my fellow volunteers have been explaining to me that every time they're out there, um, these people don't want to practice social distancing, regardless of the hunger and how they feel and everything. They don't even care about practicing social distancing based on the fact that they believe that this is a government conspiracy some of them don't believe the virus is real. Some of them believe that, oh, this is a white man virus. They can't kill a black man. And, and, and I just want to know from, from your opinion, how do you think that we can, we can properly disseminate information to the uneducated masses who do not believe in this virus? They just need to show them that 7,000 black Nigerians are dead. Just make up that number and make up corpses they would believe. Because Nigerians are into what they see. They're like, I beg you, which one? They just give us number, which one going to be that one? Where's the person? You, you know anybody we don't get COVID-19? You, you know anybody? You don't know anybody? You don't know anybody? Yeah, nothing. You know, that's, that's on the massive level. You know what I'm saying? Because they wake up every morning, they have not heard of their neighbor that they spoke yet last night dead. We can't, I can't really hear you properly. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. That's much better. I I'm like, the, the masses are into what they see. You know, so as far as they're concerned, they haven't seen patients. They haven't seen people that are dead from it. So they still don't believe it. They have not lost somebody within their neighbor, neighborhood, within a community. So it's, it's going to be tough for them, for them to believe it. When, until they see it, then they will start to really practice. I promise you, trust me. Nigerians, when they see these things, they will, they will, they will practice social distancing. I mean, we're, those of us that are privileged to information, we've seen how America reported that primarily black Americans have even died more from the virus than even the white. And that means that it can really affect anybody. And the government have access to billboards. I don't know how many billboards are out there to show that, you know, to um, pass the information to the people because... For me, I feel like there's so much we can do on social media. How many Nigerians are on social media? How many Nigerians have access to funds, to data, to be able to even stream like a live video? This is a lot of data. There's so much data going down. You know, so the majority of the people don't have access to these. What they have access to is radio, TV, what they see, billboards, you know, pretty much is what they have access to, you know. And yeah. I don't know how much government is doing in using those mediums to pass the information to them. Yes, yes, that's that's very true. Um, I like I like where you're coming from and how you're thinking about this and passing the information across. It's very realistic and true. It is it is what it is, as I would usually say. Um, but how do you think the Nigerian healthcare system is handling this? Because I mean, a lot of people have different things to say about the health, the healthcare system and everything. How do you think we are handling this so far and how it's going? I know for a fact that Nigerians, um, Nigerians are generally compassionate people. So in, in terms of the health workers, I can, I can bet they are putting their lives on the line. They're doing everything they should, even when they shouldn't. When I, when I say when they shouldn't, it means there is no insurance there's nothing there's nothing like they're just trying to do their jobs to keep people alive right even though we can act like oh after all is your job is it not what you signed up for which i think is the entitlement the government is using to address them but it's terrible you know people 
they are losing their lives generally. Because like I told you earlier, I was at work filming and they were telling me about how they tried to reach like three different hospitals and they were closed. Because even the healthcare workers are scared. Because they know if they die, that is it. Nothing is going to happen. They're going to leave their families hungry. Nothing is going to happen to them. So um, sadly, when things like this happen, it's a lot it's a lot on the government part, even though on our part, what we have to do is obviously practice social distancing, you know, try and be safe, take it serious, you know, know what do, do, do the right thing. But there's so much, so much on the government part that needs to be done. That is beyond uh, control. It's beyond my power. There's so much, there's, I, can, I really cannot help in that area. The help I can give is to stay at home, stay safe, wear a mask if I have to go out and wear my gloves and use hand sanitizers. You know what I'm saying? That's the best I can do for my part. But actively, people that are fighting and trying to keep people safe and keep people healthy, it's tough. It is so tough. My uncle, my uncle is a doctor, and I called him the other day, and I was because he's a private doctor, and I'm like, how are you finding this? He's like, well, what can we do? If we act like we're not going to attend to people, what if part of our own family members also need help somewhere else? And that was all he needed to say. And that's why I say that naturally Nigerians are compassionate people because he could also just close up his hospital and try and be safe and tell all his workers to go home for a month of, you know what I'm saying, till things. But he's not doing that. He's, but he's not doing that. He's actively there attending to patients and all that stuff. So, um, I mean, it's just, it's just crazy how we have zero social infrastructures in place, zero structure, to be honest, in the country. Everybody is, like, I feel like every, every Nigerian is his own government, in a way. You're going to have to look out for yourself, for your security, for your health. You know, me, that's, when I was growing up, I remember seeing my mom cook with ginger and garlic, and I always complained. I nagged so much. Me, now, I'm ginger myself. Call me ginger. Call me Vijayanam's ginger. I eat ginger like it's nothing. <laughs> you know, you have to look out for yourself, because... To be honest, it's crazy. When you, have, when, you, when you contact the virus, you're going to have to be isolated. God forbid you lose your life in the process. Your family cannot even get to you. You know, so it's, it's crazy. Yes. Um, yes, it is. The healthcare workers here in Nigeria, I believe they're doing so much. They're risking their lives. Um, and they're doing it out of the as far as I'm concerned, the, the conscience in their heart, the love for their country and the love for their people, because you can't That's really right. say it's for any other reason. I don't see any other reason why they should be, you know, risking their lives. They're doing this because they're doing it because they believe in what they do and they love Nigeria. And um, I love, I'm very grateful to all of them right now. I, I, they're doing much more than anybody is doing right now. I,